playgrounds. No obstacle in my way can stop me. There is no gap I cannot cross. So today I'm doing my first ever video for my channel, Your Beautiful Desire. Oh, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I thought it would be a good way to start off my channel by telling you the products that I wear every day so you can get to know um, the way I like my makeup and then I can branch into all sorts of other videos. This is going to be a four part series, so today I want to talk about my base makeup, the products that I use to apply my base makeup. I will follow this video with eyes, um, cheeks, lips, etc. So I really hope you like this video and let's get started. So the first thing that I do before I even start my base makeup is to make sure that I have put my contacts in because you don't want to be touching your contacts with m makeup hands. <laughs> um, so I put my contacts in first and I moisturise my face just so that there's no flaky bits because I have combination skin but I get quite dry areas and when you put foundation on dry skin without any sort of moisturiser, well, it can it can just be pretty bad. To start my base makeup off, I use a primer. Now, not everybody has to use a primer, but I find that it benefits me more if I have, if I wear a primer before I apply my foundation. A primer, if you don't know, is a product that is used to as a barrier between your pores and your foundation, so it stops your pores being clogged up as much and it just allows the foundation to be spread on more evenly. So I actually use a really really cheap primer. I got this primer from eBay and it's just the W7 Prime Magic anti dull Skin Balancing Primer Camera Ready. Now um, in the next few weeks I'm actually planning to invest in a proper Laura Mercier primer but until then I'm using this cheap primer and it's actually pretty good. Um, when you put it on the skin it's really soft and it feels quite oily but then it soaks up the foundation better I find on my skin. The most important thing when you're doing your makeup is a foundation. Without a good foundation bright eyes and bright lips or even just a neutral look can look washed out if you don't wear foundation. Some people tend to use um, like a tinted moisturiser or a BB cream, especially in the hot summer months, um, and that's absolutely fine, but I personally love foundation. It just covers up all my redness, and oh, I just love it. Now, I used to use the Body Shop foundation, and it was really, really good, but then I decided that I wanted to invest in something a little more high-end, so I've got this Clinique Even Better Makeup foundation and it is in the colour 3 which is ivory and this costs £28 in the shops I got it a little bit cheaper off of eBay but not much but this is going to last me a long time and I just find it gives me dewy lovely skin I use a very cheap foundation brush to apply it um, some of the beauty gurus out there on YouTube love their brushes and um, I'm not going to lie, I don't have a lot of experience with brushes. I have a lot of experience with makeup products and beauty products but um, as far as makeup brushes are concerned, I've just got the cheap crappy ones. <laughs> you don't have to use a makeup brush, you can use a sponge or your fingers to apply your foundation but that is personally what I use. After I have applied my primer and foundation, I like to use a concealer under my eyes and on any blemishes because I have quite dark under eye circles. It's just a fact of life. 
and um, I use the Body Shop concealer in the colour number two and it just looks like this it's a little silver tube and it's the best um, concealer that I've found personally covers my dark under eye circles but it's not so great for my blemishes and last but not least um, for my base makeup I use a pressed powder to um, cover my skin make it less sticky and just make sure that everything sets in place I use a very cheap collection pressed powder it used to be called collection 2000 and they've changed their name to collection I use it in number three translucent and I have tried high-end powders and this is so cheap it's a couple of pounds and it's the best one I find better than the high-end ones so if you want a cheaper alternative then definitely go for the collection pressed powder I tend to apply my pressed powder with a big brush like this but recently I found that to get into the little creases like in my nose and under my eyes I use this brush now don't ask me to tell you what the brushes are because I have no idea but um, I just find that that's what works for me so that is everything that I do for my base makeup if you've got any questions let me know next week I will be showing you the most important part of my look so I hope you like my first ever video if you like this video please like comment subscribe and if you have any questions comments or any video ideas that you would like me to do then please don't forget to leave a comment in the comments box below and I will see you next week bye